have you ever felt like just waking up in the morning and dressing up as a tiger? Because, same. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Shariana Urban and I'm with the Enchanted Playhouse Theatre Company and today I'm going to show you how to do the makeup look of a tiger on your face. And then I'm using a white cream paint. I have the Ben Nye um, cream paint in white, but you can use any um, cream paint or white. Uh, face makeup you want to. So based on the reference photo, you're gonna go in with your white on your chin. You make sure you've got it kind of pigmented. You want to dab like so. And then we're gonna make the muzzle. And then on the reference photo, the tiger has white on its chin. And then the tiger has white around its eyes and then up here, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'll repeat that on the other eye and then go over with another coat on each of these. Next, I'm gonna go in with kind of an orangey brownish eyeshadow. I'm going in with the Morphe James Charles palette and I'm gonna use this color in the middle. And you're going to put that all over your forehead, your nose, your cheeks, basically everywhere that is not white, you wanna cover with that shadow. Now I'm going to take um, a black pencil liner, so I'm going to tight line my eye. An important step to note when you're working with um, cream paint is before you go in with another coat or color of a cream paint to set your paint with a uh, translucent powder, a loose translucent powder. So what I use is Airspun and just dab the powder onto your areas that are covered with cream paint. Once again, I'm using Ben Nye. This is the Ben Nye Color Wheel. You can use any black cream paint. You can even use a black eyeliner. I'm taking a flat concealer brush and taking some of this cream paint. Now you're gonna start the eyes, so. The eye comes down from the corner towards the nose. So you're gonna draw that line. And it's okay if it's not super precise. And then it's a ring around the eye. And then like a cat eye, you'll line your top lid. And we're going to extend this line, so you want a straight line from the corner, the outer corner of your eye. You want to extend that straight just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the black eyeshadow and I'm going to make the line on my top lid just a little bit thicker and smoke it out. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So once you've done the eyes, you're going to start working on the rest of the shape of the face. So we're going to start with the mouth right on your cupid's bow right here. The tiger has a straight line down and it goes into a little triangle and then it's muzzle comes out and you want to bring it up. Almost like you're making a smiley face. We'll do it on the other side. You're gonna make lines coming down around the white where you drew here earlier. Into your chin and do the same on the other side. And then this line is thick up. And you'll feel all of this 
And then bring this to a line here. And then do the same on this side. You're starting to draw your tiger stripes. And we're gonna make here a little bit thicker. We're gonna continue drawing tiger stripes. So you want to make how a tiger has stripes all around. You want them to be going on these, on your cheeks, up towards your eyes. And then we're going to start going up around the eye. So you're going to take, remember this line you made? Take it up and curve it around your eyebrow. And bring it down. You're wanting it to look almost like fur, so I'm not using straight lines, do little small strokes. And you'll do the same on this eye. We are going to start on the eyebrow. Which is kind of nice because then once again you're covering up your eyebrow with the cream paint. We're going to bring it up on the forehead. We're going to bring some on the forehead so you want them curving into each other on the forehead once again to accentuate your face. So once you've done that, that is going to be the basics of your tiger stripes. To set where you have a place, Take your translucent powder and set all your tiger stripes. Now that you've set that, go back with your right cream paint. Now I'm taking another flat concealer brush because the other one has black on it. And go in with the white and we're just going to clean up with the spots with the eyebrow, we're going to accentuate the inside of the eye and just clean up spots where the white doesn't really show that much anymore. Now we're going to start working on the nose and the muzzle. So take your black cream paint, same concealer brush we used before, and we're going to draw the tiger nose. So tiger noses have a little bit of a dip and they come back up like a cat nose and we're gonna round it out on the edge same on this side curve it in do the same and then it comes up And there's a thin part here. So just like you're making a cat nose. And then we want to fill the parts. Like how you have no cream paint here. Fill that in black. Now cats have, tigers, have a pink nose more of a pinky tone, which I don't have a pink cream paint, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same white cream paint and I'm going to paint in the nose and I'm going to get a pink eyeshadow. I have this one and pick up a little bit of that and then I'm going to dab it on the cream paint on my nose. And there you have a pink nose. Instead of using your cream paint, go in with your black shadow and your pencil brush. Get a little bit of the black shadow on your brush and then we're going to go on the edge of your muzzle where your white is and just shadow an outline up 
to the nose. And then do the same on this side. Now I want this to be very blended out. So I'm gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna lightly, with no product on the brush, when that no tigers have dots for their whiskers so i'm going to take a super thin brush you can use a paint brush you can use a toothpick whatever you want to we're just gonna make little dots i have just a tiny little brush back in with the cream paint little dots like whiskers now we're gonna do the same on the other side take a small brush and I'm gonna dip in the white cream paint we're gonna make whiskers coming out from here and flick your brush towards you and it creates like the feathered like that feathered line on the end and we'll do the same on this side and flick your brush. Now we're gonna work on the bottom part, the chin and the mouth. So dip back in your concealer brush in the black paint and go and draw your lip. Fill it in with black cream paint. We are going in the same small brush we used for the white for the whiskers. We're going to take some of that white cream paint and then we're going to create fur strokes on our chin. And we're going to take a little bit of that white and make fur lines on our lip. Go all the way up to this line with your white cream paint and then take the same small brush so I'll use a flat concealer brush, putting white all the way up, then use the same brush and do exactly what you did on your lip, a little bit, just a little bit on the edge of those lines to create texture. Now take that pencil brush and some black shadow, tap off your excess, and you're going to extend this line, make it come out a little bit to the muzzle. Now we're going to define the spot on the nose and a little bit more of the nose and some of the orange texture so what I'm gonna do is I want to take a flat brush and I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush now with the flat brush I'm gonna go in with a brown shade that is a little bit darker so we use this one for the base so I'm gonna go in with this one that is a little bit darker just take a little bit tap off your excess and then we're gonna go through and we're just gonna now I'm going to take that clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that so it's not such a harsh line. Now we're going to take that same brown shade and that same flat brush and we're going to bend up, bring up the nose and curve it in. And same on this side. Take some of that same brown, same flat. We're going to make it curve up to the top of the eye. And then same fluffy brush. We're going to bring some shadow, some dimension around the edge of the white. When you're done adding those shadows, you are pretty much finished. You can add any more fur strokes anywhere you want, but other than that, you are done and you look like a tiger. So grab your tiger ears and your character is finished. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.